Shofetim, Judges chapter 10. And after Abimelech there arose Tola, son of Pua, son of Dodo, a man of Yisaskar, to save Yisrael. And he dwelt in Shamor in the mountains of Ephraim. And he ruled Yisrael twenty-three years. Then he died and was buried in Shamor. And after him arose Yair, a a Giladite. And he ruled Yisrael twenty-two years. And he had thirty sons who rode on thirty donkeys. And they had thirty towns which are called Havoth Yair to this day, which are in the land of Gilad. And Yair died and was buried in Kamon. And the children of Israel again did evil in the eyes of Yah, and served the Baals and the Ashtoreths, and the mighty ones of Aram, and the mighty ones of Sidon, and the mighty ones of Moab, and the mighty ones of the children of Ammon, and the mighty ones of the Philistines, and forsook Yah, and did not serve him. Therefore the displeasure of Yah burned against Israel, and he sold them into the hands of the Philistines, and into the hands of the children of Ammon. And they crushed and oppressed the children of Israel that year, for eighteen years, all the children of Israel who were beyond the Yardin in the land of the Amorites in Gilad. And the children of Ammon passed over the Yardin to fight against Yehuda, and against Benjamin, and against the house of Ephraim, so that Israel had great distress. And the children of Israel cried out to Yah, saying, We have sinned against you, because we have both forsaken our Elohim and served the Baals. So Yah said to the children of Israel, Was it not from the Mitzrites and from the Amorites and from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines that I saved you? And the Sidonians and Amalek and Maon oppressed you, and you cried out to me, and I saved you from their hand. But you, you have forsaken me and served other mighty ones, therefore I do not save you again. Go and cry out to the mighty ones which you have chosen. Let them save you in in your time of distress. And the children of Israel said to Yah, We have sinned. Do to us whatever is good in your eyes. Only deliver us today, please. So they put away the foreign mighty ones from their midst and served Yah. And his being was grieved with the trouble of Israel. Then the children of Ammon were called together and encamped in Gilad. And the children of Israel gathered together and encamped in Mitzvah. And the, and the people, the heads of Gilad, said to each other, Let the man who was the first to fight against the children of Ammon be head over all the inhabitants of Gilad.